No! 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 Why do you feel so strongly about this? Oh no! Maybe I made myself clear. Oh no. <laughs> He's turning into angry Morpeko! No! <laughs> Why? Why should I open this? Well, it's an extra one, and it's Christmas, after all, at the time of recording. Yeah, streaming. Christmas is supposed to be the day of giving and showing love. How is it showing love? It's showing love to everybody else. This is showing that you hate me. Uh, listen, I wanted to make sure that people had some content to watch Christmas night, you know, it's... Watching paint dry is more entertaining content than watching this pack <laughs> opening right here. I don't care what the value of the Charizards are in this right now. Paint dry, guys. Look it up on YouTube. No one will blame you. I promise you, get some popcorn, lie back down, and watch that crisp blue-green paints just dry on that nice brand new wooden wall. Promise you, much more entertaining. I will not judge you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> way too strongly about this. Not to mention, I'm sure you probably blew a bunch of people's ears out with that. <laughs> they had to be warned. Now, the mic probably peaked, but um, yeah, that's not my fault. Don't blame me, guys. You gotta blame him. Or no. Grobile. Blame Grobile, too. Yes, Grobile. Absolutely. <laughs> this all right. is all Grobile's fault. You guys know what Elite Trainer Box looks like. We're only in this for a couple of things, which means the packs. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Wait. Okay, for a second it looked like there was more packs than there should have been. But there wasn't, so we're good. Alright, we're going to put this stuff off to the side. We've opened up a lot of Elite Trainer Boxes of Evolutions. So, the rest of it you guys know. It's been around for four years, how can we not have? Alright, we got two Venusaur packs. There's a Blastoise, there's a Raichu, there's a Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise. Alright, so... There you go, there's your packs. Would you like to go first and get it over with? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. We got sleeves here. We're ready to go. Good luck. After this, I need to go bleach my hands. And my nose, too, for smelling this. <laughs> it's almost worth it to open up Evolutions just for this show. Ugh. Don't remind me. All right. So we have... Oh, look at that. We have a Weedle. I'm a chop. Tangela, oh, this is so fantastic. <laughs> Vulpix. <laughs> this is one of the few things I do like. I do like the energies. Got maintenance, which my brain's gonna need. Got Poliwhirl, Brock's Grit, a Reverse Hollow Vulpix, and a Starmie. Here's your regular rare. This is like one of the only competitive cards that we had in that set. It was this. Dragonite. Dragonite. Kind of Pidgeot. Yeah, Pidgeot has awesome play. And uh, I just wanna I just wanna throw one quick thing out there. I believe Mew did too. Um, if this had been a subset, I think we would have been a lot better off because it actually was a great idea and is very nostalgic for people who didn't actually grow up with base. I know, but like I've said that point so many times, I think everyone knows that. By I, now. I'm just throwing it in this video as well because right. not everybody's seen all of our videos. That's that's fair. Yeah, so that, really... That, that really is a thing. Subset, I would be, I would have zero things to complain about. If this was a subset. Yep. But one card's value doesn't make a set. Onyx, Fair Rip, Voltorb, Tangela, Cough Cough. We gotta revive. Secret rare! Technically. Secret rare. Here, I'm gonna sleeve it up. We have a reverse rare. And... Mewtwo! That's cool. This wasn't exactly a competitive card, but back when Mega Mewtwo Y was a thing, this one was... People played like one of this in the deck, just because it had... I, two reasons, that higher HP and of energy absorbed to be able to put any energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So if you discard a double colors, you go ahead and attach it back with this, and then next turn you're making Mewtwo. Usually making Mewtwo Y was doing a lot more damage. I just realized we haven't been doing this, so. Oh yeah. We want to make sure that. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since you've opened up stuff. But I want to make sure we're still uh, keeping things organized. Yep. Yeah. All right. Pack number three. All right, so we got ourselves a Gasly, Magnemite, Soil. Shamander, Diglett, Kuna, Energy Retrieval, a Blastoise Spirit Link, a Reverse Ghastly, and Arcanine. All right, one more pack to go for you. Yep, one more pack. I've so far pulled a Secret Rare and an Ultra. 
So you are not going to be able to beat that very easily. Technically, no. All right, so we got Sagaji, Tubchu, Growlithe, Tubchu, Machop. I almost hit me out. Nidoran, <laughs> got Pidgey, got Spirit Link, Poliwhirl, Full Heal. Oh! Machamp, Break. I forgot about Breaks. And a Farfetch'd. Yeah, this is going to be tough to beat. That's for sure. Um, Allison, I, I just realized, yeah, the Kakunas. I'm a, I know Scott must be going crazy right now. <laughs> All right. You're going to so, like only like maybe three or four breaks were ever like good. Yes, not they, very many. They were a good idea, but not many of them were good. No, unfortunately. All right. So for me, we've got a Drowsy, Magikarp, Electabuzz, Rattata, Growlithe, Coughing, Revive, Oh, look at that! It's a secret rare! The same one! Oh, look at that! I got a Machamp Break, too! And a Farfetch! I literally pulled two of the three cards you had in one pack. What is life right now? Double Machamp Break, double Rocket, secret rare. <laughs> secret uh, rare is used very lightly, just so you all know. Yeah. Because these quote-unquote secret rares are pretty easy to get. They are. They were. They were pretty common. Yeah. Just kind of shoved in packs here and there. So I only need to get an EX or an Ultra in general to tie you. And a full art wins it. That's crazy. I'd also like to point out that Ensman Champ Break was also followed by a Farfetch'd. Creepy. Oh yeah, it was. That is creepy. Voltorb, Charmander, well, Diglett. Where's the breaks go? I think the only ones that were good were um. Gren I think Greninja was like the and, best break. And Trevenant. Greninja. Trevenant. Ooh, Greninja and Trevenant were like the two best breaks out there. We forgot about this for competitive. That's right, that was good. This was good too. So the top two were Greninja, Trevenant. So our break kind of went back and forth between meta play. Like when it first came out, it was good. Then it stopped for a while. Then when Sun and Moon Base came out, it was good again. And Carbink saw a little bit of play with the Zygarde EX. Yeah, I played it. And I'm pretty sure that's all the breaks that saw any sort of play whatsoever. Reverse rare. People... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Xerneas, too. Xerneas did see a little bit of play. Yeah. So, okay, so more breaks actually saw some play than we thought. People But they weren't top-tier decks. Not real. Not really. Xerneas break only had a very short time in the top tier. And Zoroark break, it was always paired with something else. The only two breaks that were, like, standalone meta were Greninja and Trevenant. True. Those were the only two. So with that electrode, that means all I need now is a an ultra to an win. Ultra to win. Which, or, or secret, because that's gonna be much easier. This is my last pack, guys, so I'm just gonna spoil this real quick and say I would have beaten you even without that reverse, because I have some texture. Ooh! <laughs> oh, I like the buzz. There's a Rattata. We got a full heal. Machoke. Potion. Reverse Rattata. And a Mega Blastoise! Full art. I think it's like funny seeing <laughs> Megas because we have V Maxes now that basically would that, that literally what Mega should have been is just just evolve on top of the V. No spirit link, no ending the turn whatsoever. Yep. Because like those were never necessary. It made Megas base it made Megas completely unplayable until Phantom Forces. Yep. Honestly, the only Mega, the only one that ever warranted the need of a spirit link to prevent your turn end was Mega Rayquaza oh. only because of its Delta evolution to be able to evolve the same turn. Guess what? That is the only one. Actually, you did pull uh, uh, a reverse rare. So I needed this to win. Oh, shoot. So I did only win by one point. <laughs> one point! That's awesome. All right. Well, that was, um, that was pretty decent. I mean... As far as the amount of pulls, the quality of the pulls, well, I mean, let's face it, this is the winner for sure. That, yeah, that was the cream of the crop. Mewtwo EX is still pretty cool, but yeah, it was definitely the Mega Blastoise. Double Team Rocket and double Machamp Break. <laughs> wow, that is insane. All right, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Right. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Evolutions Elite Trainer Box opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. To the people who have been watching live on Twitch, we appreciate you guys being here as well. And you get the people on Twitch, you get to go see us disinfect ourselves severely for having to touch all that. 
And we still have plenty more product here to open up live. This is something that we do about two to three times a month. So if you guys want to follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash PKMN Evolutionaries. Recent change from our Evolutionaries Gaming, so make sure you're using the correct link. Otherwise, the, uh, the, the Evolutionaries Gaming one doesn't link us to the right one. So PKMN Evolutionaries. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully more Pekka is done being angry and we can go back to opening things that he enjoys.